Okay, guys, welcome back to Warrior Land Shake It. In the last part, we barely scratched our way through Neon City, and now we're heading to a level I have never completed before. So, yeah. Well, not all the missions. Like, I've gotten through the level and escaped and stuff, but I've never gotten all the missions and stuff. I didn't get 100%, I should say. Okay. Finish before 120, no damage, $50,000, defeat the golden enemy, five men and arrows heads in a row, five heads of garlic, and one of my absolute most hated missions in this entire game, don't kill any enemies. I swear that the devil himself came up with that freaking mission idea. Okay, prioritize. That is today's word. You cannot try to get all these at once. It is virtually impossible, and you will drive yourself insane. And for the sake of my sanity, I am not going to try. So, first things first. Get the no-killing enemies out of the way. That one is so annoying, you will never recover. Oh, good lord. Does it suck. I cannot go into enough detail to describe how much I hate that mission and this level entirely but whatever anyway um, all right now as you can see you got an enemy up there and a treasure right oh wait I can't even do this right now because I got to use the enemy never mind not getting this yet okay and of course um, because I'm not gonna be killing any enemies I can't use the max fastosity dasherator at the end so I'm going to be um, attempting a no damage run but, yeah. Anyway. Uh, no, no. I want to shake his armor off, but I'm not going to kill him. Because I just don't want him shooting at me. There. Okay. Now, right here, you're going to have to deal with this. Um, okay, no. No. Oh, come on. Okay, now, th this can be really annoying. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Continue. Uh, now, this. This. No, 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 no. Frick. Trying, retrying again. I will see you guys right back there. Okay, we're back. Now, as you can see, this part of the mission is just is devious just for that one reason. No matter what happens, no enemies can die in this level. Oh crap! No oh, crap! Ugh! Jeez. Um. Now you got it. Ugh! Hang on. I really don't like this level at all. Oh crap! Oh, hang on. I will see you guys when I get him out of the way. Jeez, I hate this level. Okay, I made it. Barely. As you can see, this level sucks. So... Ugh, I can't even begin to describe how much I utterly despise this level. And of course, I don't... The thing about these levels, these secret map levels, is that no matter what, you're going to be out of practice on them. Because if you beat them, and then you get everything, you are never setting foot here ever again. Ugh, wait, hang on. Now, right here, jump down. I know you can get a super ground pound there, dang it. I know you can get this. Boom, thank you. So you super ground pound there, and you come in here, and you get a diamond. We'll be moving on. Okay, now, as you see, you got to jump in between these fire shooters that have no purpose, one at a time, like alternating. And, yeah, anyway, um, make it so there's always, um, make it so it's like a ladder, and then you can get all the money in here. And then, come up here. And we have a treasure to get. Let's see if I can even get this. Um, okay, does not involve enemies. Good. Okay, now, let me see here. Um, let me see. What do I got to do here? Oh, uh, wait a minute. I see what I got to do. Hang on. You just got to be kind of quick with that one. Here, let's see. And go back in. Now, this is pretty... What? Oh, whoops. Here, <laughs> let me do that. Uh, turn it back off. There we go. And I will escape now and go back in. Okay. There we go. Now, all you do, throw it and duck. Boom. Done. Pretty easy, actually. It's just you don't really expect it at first. And right there we get a 24-karat baseball bat. Awesome. 
Perfect for mobsters that want to show off. Anyway. Uh, let's continue. See if I can actually make it through this. Okay, we got just damaging things. Okay, that's easy. It's not bad. As long as I don't have to dodge enemies and not kill enemies. Fine by me. Yeah, nothing there. Okay, go ahead and hit that switch. I'm going to try hitting it again just to be safe. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but whatever. Okay, now. I can't use you to get that. So I'm just going to shake you. Give me your garlic. There we go. Five heads of garlic. Now, I will always have that mission done when I continue here. So, yeah. Anyway. There's a treasure down there that we can't get without killing an enemy, so we're not going to get that just yet. Oh, uh, are we there? Are we there? Okay. You jump over. Thank you. Okay. I have made it. Good gosh. I hate this level. As you could hear, you could really hear me getting, like, really, really frustrated. Thank you. Okay. Now. Checkpoint means that I have an opportunity to get that five bandanero arrow heads in a row. You only have two minutes to escape this place. That's not much time at all. So crawl in the cannon, wait for the fire, and shoot yourself up. Uh, wait. Oh, wait, I know what I can do. Here, let's do this. Uh, crap. Oh, what? How do I do that now? What the? Uh, let's retry. I think I know what I need to do, though. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to run out and then just hold down. That'll work. Okay, so, trying again. Ugh. I've actually never gotten the five bandanero heads in a row, but I know that there are lots of bandaneros out here on the top of the train, so yeah. Go, go, go. Yes! Sweet. That's how fast you want to do it if you're doing uh, going for speed. All right, now, down. Okay, there we go. Sweet, I escaped him. Okay, now, um, that's two. And that's three. Okay. Okay, why don't we do this? Uh, get down. Oh, I hate this. Go. No, I was holding down. Thank you. Okay, push them down. Okay, please. Let's just do this. And push them over. Okay, now. No, stop. Don't pick them up. Okay, well, that's two. I, I know I'm not, I'm not worrying about the time, so yeah. Okay, now. Would you guys also go over there? Ugh. Please, cooperate with me. Okay, now. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, okay. Awesome. Okay, that is a very complicated one. Have fun doing that one. Seriously, that one's tricky. Not that hard, or not dangerous or anything. It's just tricky. Ah. Uh, oh, good lord. I gotta do that again now. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I have too good of a run going, so I will just enjoy my ability to destroy my enemies. Okay, get... Die! Okay, I do not care. I just want to get out of here. So... Ugh, wait a minute. Is this blocked off now? I don't even remember. Okay. No, it is not good. Get me out of here. Ugh. I will show you how to get the no killing enemy thing, but there, three missions done. Ugh, no golden enemy, but obviously we can't get that if we're trying to avoid killing enemies. Okay, now, I will see you guys back at the escape. Well, actually, I'll see you back in the level itself just for a second. I want to show you how to get, you know, the no killing the enemies thing, because as you saw, that uh, box fell down on the enemy and killed him, and I didn't even do anything. So yeah, I will see you guys back there, and I will explain how you prevent that. Okay, I'm here with the box and the thingy. Now, as you see, um, I didn't kill any enemies there. This one is the armored guy that will, that's down here. Now, what happens is, if you hit this, the thing drops down and it kills him. So what you gotta do, you know, obviously, you, you get him, you avoid the switch, and then you, you know, shake his armor off, and then you just bring him over here. But, if you leave this off, it stays off. These blocks will not reset, and so what happens is, this enemy will reset, but the blocks won't. And so as soon as you re-enter this zone, the box will fall down and kill him. So what you have to do, you actually have to remember to reset the boxes, just to make sure that that thing doesn't fall on him again in the escape. Yeah, good feel, suck it. You suck, man. Ugh. Whatever. Anyway, 
Oh, I, I've, I've already done the no damage. What am I worrying about here? Um, I will see you guys back at the escape. So, yeah, see you guys there. Okay, back here at the escape now. Okay, so we are escaping, and it is so nice to be able to take damage in this level, man. Okay, so now we are going to do this without killing an enemy, hopefully stopping those blocks from spawning. Or, wait. Hopefully making those blocks not spawn anymore will really help. Okay. Now we can just run, and I don't have to worry about lining these stupid band and arrows up. Okay, and yes, that is their uh, official name, I'm guessing, because I, well, I don't really know, but I know that that's what they're called when they talk about them in the text. So here, let's see. Okay, now. Yes, thank you. Okay. All right, so I am, whoa, no, I am not killing you. Get out of the way. Very tempting, but no. Oh, thank you. This is one of the hardest missions in the game. Because of just just those two blocks, those two stupid yellow blocks in that one area, it makes it one of the hardest missions in the game, at least for me. Oh, thank you, sweet freedom. Huh. Okay, I will now revel in my ability to destroy all that lies before me. So, I will see you guys back in the level from the start, because I'm going to show you where everything else is, now that I can kill anything I want. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Now that I can kill things, I am now free to do whatever I want, since I've also done the no damage run. I'm not doing the money just yet, but I am going to show you where everything else that I know is. Okay. Now... We have a treasure up here to get that involves killing an enemy. So, let's go ahead and get up here. Now, as you can see, there's a spike pit. So what you gotta do is you gotta hit these switches in time with the way that he walks. Now, let's say you do something like this. As you can see, if you hit it at the wrong time, when he's on top of where the blocks are, it kills him and you gotta start over. So you gotta be careful. So you can either squish him or you can drop him in the spikes, both of which kill him. Here's how I do it. I turn it off there, and then I wait for him to hit the next ones, and then I turn that off. So, yeah, that's how I like to do it. And boom, there we go. Enemy, you have now served your purpose and shall be destroyed for the betterment of Wario. Okay, and we get a train timetable, okay. I don't know why Wario would want something like that. It's just telling you who's on the train, I think. So, yeah, uh, maybe he's just looking for rich people to rob. I don't know, maybe. That sounds likely, but I don't know. Wario doesn't really seem like a thief. He just seems greedy. You know, that that's something that I never really realized until just now. Wario's not really a thief. He's just kind of greedy. He just takes anything that he does happen to see. Anyway, there's the golden enemy up there, uh, just in case you hadn't seen him before. Squish! Die! Okay, now that I can kill enemies, I can also take the Max Vassosity Dash Raider, and I can find out what's up there, because I know that we've gone through this level a couple times now, and I've always been way short on money. So, yeah. I don't know exactly how much I was missing, but I know that it was a lot. So, yeah. I always got that diamond, but I'm not getting it this time, because I just want to save time. But anyway, there's a lot of money in here, as you already know. Uh, here, I'm just gonna break them all, because I don't care. Boom, two at a time. There we go. Alright, so the only thing up there is that treasure, which we already have, so I don't care about it. Uh, I'm, uh, we, looks, nah. It looks like we're missing, oh, right, you're right, this treasure. Now I remember what I'm looking for. Okay, now, what you need to do here is very simple. Pound the ground. Grab this guy. Shake him. Pound it. I mean, ground pound. And then stand down here. You need to stand down here. Ground pound. Wow. <sighs> I really hate how sensitive the Wii Remote can be. Like that. That's just irritating. I mean, it's good that it is sensitive, but it shouldn't be that sensitive. I had barely turned it a fraction of a quarter of a millimeter. Jeez. Nintendo. Come on. Make your stuff a little bit crappier. All right, and we have an overachieving star. Wow. Okay, so is that Mario? What? I mean, all right. 
Sure, I'll take that. Boom. And, oh, you know what? You're coming with me. Get down in there. You're going to fall in the fire. Die. <laughs> I don't care. Burn, Wario. Whatever. Anyway, now we can do this. And, of course, I'm gonna, probably going to take you through the level just one more time when I'm getting the money, just in case I missed something. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? We'll find out eventually. And, oh, oh ugh, that's ball. I totally made it through. Well, that was lucky. <laughs> I thought I was going to end up under the Max Vassalcity Dash Raider, and I was just going to smash my head against it. That actually would have been really funny. Right, jump. And we get all the money. Come on. Boing. You got to jump there. Whoa. Jeez, look at that. You barely get any room to do that. Kill the golden enemy. Okay, looks like you need the... You got to jump up there, I guess. But I do not care. I have gotten... Die. <laughs> wow, I caught him with a double bounce. That was actually pretty funny. Um, we now have just two missions left to do. I've gotten all the treasures. And this is further than I've ever gotten in this level. So, yeah, this is kind of nice. I'm actually beating a level. I'm I'm conquering my, my demons. These levels are my demons that I've never conquered before. So, yeah, this is kind of cool. Uh, oh, by the way, if it's called Derailed Express, how is it still moving? Shouldn't it just not be moving? Anyway, I will see you at the escape for the timed run. And then, finally, the money. So, I will see you guys at the escape. Okay, time for the escape. Obviously, once you get here, you want to try to time your cannon shot perfectly. I think you have about 40 seconds to get out. So, yeah. As fast as you can is definitely the best. Ooh, good. Made it. Now, for this one, you want to leave the yellow blocks back there. You know where the... You know, the yellow blocks. The ones that I've talked about way too much already. Okay, jump, jump. Yeah, it's not too hard to get the jumping right, but it's just this part that'll screw anybody else over. Let's see, is there anything up here? And no, not really. I mean, there's... Oh, there's a diamond up there, huh? I gotcha, I gotcha. I see what you did there, game. That really, really sucks. I have a diamond to get. And I missed it, too, even though I jumped at, like, the very last second. So, yeah, that's just wonderful. I gotta deal with that. Anyway, now... I'll see you for the money. And we're almost done, actually. This one's actually going way better than Neon City. So, yeah. So, yeah. What am I, Duke Devlin? Whatever. Anyway. Um... Why don't... Well, I'll just see you back there. Let's Okay, now, this is going to be the last run of the level. Now, as we all found out, there is a diamond up there that we cannot get until the end of the level, sadly. So, we're going to have to make do with what we can find in the level. Now, I haven't really gotten any of the money that's already in the level, so I just decided that I would just show all the money, and yes, I know I missed that silver coin back there, I just didn't feel like going back for it. I'll be fine without it, don't worry. Okay, so, yeah, this might be unnecessary to show the whole level again, but I guarantee you there's going to be someone that's going to be like, Oh, hey, you should have shown the level. I can't find all the money. But, yeah. Die. Thank you. Okay, now. Hey, wait a minute. Actually, how are we going to get all the money? Because, I, sorry, I'm just thinking about, you know how the gold enemy is up here? Are we gonna are we gonna be trying to go for his money or no? I mean I guess a diamond really does outrank the golden enemy, but still, I mean are we gonna be Oh! <laughs> wow! I am freaking amazing. Okay. Huh. Well that's nice. I can just shake him here. Sweet! Uh wait, actually. Here, shake him just a little bit. Okay, stop. Just a little off the top. Okay, there, sweet, good. Okay, come up here. Okay, nothing left. Okay. You die. Wow. I didn't think that was going to work. I mean, jeez. Uh, yeah, it looks like that wind really helps. Okay, so let's go up here. Let's do this. I've never done this before. You learn so much when you just try, you know? Okay. Let's get this money that I have never gotten before. It's no wonder I was never able to get all the missions here. I never really explored it. Come, Wario, move. Thank you. Okay, here. You know what? There. 
That's good enough. And I am lazy, just like Wario. Oh yeah. Wow. I'm so good at this game. Okay, whatever. Uh, I am a god of gaming. No. Uh, <laughs> just, just pull a little Ninja Gaiden 2 action there and you'll be good. Just use the wind to your advantage. Okay. So, that's pretty cool that I was able to get that when I never knew... I never knew you could do that before. So, yeah, I guess it is very good that I showed this going back into the level thing. So, yeah. Man, don't you just love me for doing this? Whatever. Anyway, one, two, three. There we go. And boom. Yeah, come on, come on. So, yeah, you want to break all these boxes in order to get all the money. So, yeah. This is pretty much the only way you can get the money. You just got to be slow and methodical in this room, too. Okay. Anything in here? Uh, not really. Oh, wait, no, there is. There's a cash bag up here, I think. Or just... No, wait, no, not a cash bag. It's just a gold coin. Okay, so we officially are halfway there. Um, I hope we're going to find enough. I mean, I know we have the diamond to look forward to and all the money that's already up there, like on the top of the train, but... Yeah. Oh, here's hoping. I don't think I missed anything. I mean, all the other rooms I've been in didn't have any other money aside from what I found, and of course I'm like $5,000 higher than what I normally would have been because I got the thing. So yeah, um, I guess we're going to go ahead and try. So yeah, anyway, our target is 24,000 gold. I mean, up uh, gold, wow, gold. Wow, I actually did call it gold. Okay, now, uh, thankfully I don't have to worry about time. There is a reason why I called it gold, but that's a secret. Anyway, um, let's see here now. Go ahead and jump over here. Now, jump, and then jump here too. See, there's a lot more, I think they give you access to a lot more money this time around. So yeah. Okay. Oh crap, no, no, no. Oh, that was the diamond that I needed. Crap, all right, retry. Well, I know what I'm doing now. I just gotta go slowly with that part. Well, just don't jump for that uh, gold coin. Just don't don't be tempted by the money. Okay. Come on, Wario. M Wario, don't you know there's more to life than money? Oh, whatever. <laughs> All right, now. Go into the cannon. No, no. no. Oh, screw you, game. I totally made it. I swear you should be able to shoot through the fire. It's not, though. Oh, whatever. I don't know. Okay. I know fire is hot, but don't you need just a little bit more exposure to it before it to actually register as very hot? I mean, we were touching it for about a fraction of a second, what with how fast we were going. Okay, now. Nope, nope. Ah, dang it. That's tough. Here, I'm going to cut to when I actually managed to do that. That's actually a tough maneuver. There we go. That's actually really tough. You got to very quickly turn around and then duck. So wait, very end of the jump. Oh yes, freaking eat it. Yeah, level I never completed before, completed. S suck it. Okay. <laughs> so, next time on Wario Land Shake It, I'm feeling pretty good because I actually completed this level because I've never done it before. We will head to the boss of the Rock and Range. We got the music. We got the escape theme of the train levels. Next time on Wario Land Shake It, we will head to the boss of this place, Rockin' Range. We will head to Chortlebot. So see you guys then.